Boas! Now, when you think boa, you might think boa constrictor because it's the one everybody's familiar with. I'm pretty sure it's because its natural habitat seems to be the college dorm room, okay? But there are lots of different types of boas. I've got two boas here. One of them is a very tiny one, makes a pretty good pet. One of these is the largest species of snake in the world by weight, okay? One of these is a baby and one of these is a grown-up. Okay. All right, what have we got here? This one is a Kenyan sand boa. It comes from Kenyan, swims in the sand. That would be a cool trick to be able to swim in the sand because you could reach up out of the ground and totally play the zombie part at a haunted house. Okay, that, That's this guy here, face like a shovel. He doesn't need a bush to hide in because he can chase things out. He can crawl into the sand, poke just his nose up, and then lunge out and grab food out of the sand. He's full grown. These make a good pet, except that you end up with just some pet sand because they're always underneath the sand but they're uh, not dangerous in any way and they're easy to care for. This is the green anaconda. This is just a brand new little baby, okay? But these are monstrous, record being over 500 pounds. I think it was around 550, but that one was cheating. It had just eaten a 100 pound capybara. Just picture the R-O-U-S's from the Princess Bride, okay? Because that's what a capybara is, world's largest rodent, okay? Uh, rodent of unusual size. But the, it was still, that's, uh, that's still over 400 pounds for a snake. That is a monster snake, okay? Now, they're not the longest. They're the heaviest. There are plenty of stories suggesting they're the longest, but the longest would be the reticulated python. Anacondas are the heaviest. They're also called the water boa because they like to hang out in the water. It supports their weight. It's a great place for them to hide from. Their eyes are on the top of their head so they can poke them out of the water, then see like periscopes while they're, most of them hides underneath the water. This guy treats the water the same as this guy treats the sand. They both swim under a medium, poke just their little noses out and then lunge out and grab their food, okay? Who needs a bush when you've got something on the ground that you can just hide under, okay? Water or sand. Totally different worlds though. It's desertish, okay? Uh, Swampish, okay? South America, Africa, okay? Totally different worlds. Boas.